your toy. Give me your toy. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna lay there? Okay. Okay. All right. Goddamn. Oh, hi guys. What the fuck? <laughs> Why are y'all on my bed? Y'all were not invited. But since you're here, as you can see, I'm tatted the fuck up. I'm gonna get more tattoos, by the way. I'm gonna get some on my legs eventually, you know, my chicken legs, they, they're kind of bare. So I need something on there, you know what I mean? It can be an addiction, but I, I believe it's a good addiction. I believe tattoos is an art. Our bodies are beautiful. Why not make it even more beautiful? Some people get random tattoos, like designs, you know, tribal stuff, you know, just because it looks good. For me, I actually get tattoos to represent something and to tell a story. So I actually so I actually like it when someone points a tattoo out of mine and they ask about it cuz I'm all open and talking about it. So let's talk about my tattoos. This is not an order in, in which I got them in, but I'm just going to go ahead and pick them out randomly. Let's start off with my neck tattoo because that's what people notice the most. My tattoo is of a sad angel with a broken wing. It represents me um, because I am broken. The doves flying towards her is giving her hope and that life will be better and things will become great. Since we're in this area, might as well go over to the other side. Really, you gonna lick yourself on the camera while I'm talking about my tattoos? It was nasty. We're gonna give it a second. Thank you. All right, so um, my next tattoo is of my Pisces constellation. These are stars to represent my zodiac sign. I am a Pisces. I am March 11th, 1985. True Pisces. And if y'all look it up, I'm a fish. Just to give you a little bit of characteristics, I'm a little psychic, you know, my intuition is strong. I am emotional not to be confused with sensitive because cancer is actually the most sensitive sign of the zodiac pisces are just emotional because we are very intuitive and we are the last sign of the zodiac we feel what others feel which makes sense i am very empathetic just to give you a little bit of general information about me next tattoo is right here on my chest area these are names. Refugio is my dad's name. Ernestina is my mom's name. I don't do girlfriend's names on me. Never have and never will. My ex-wife wanted me to do that and I said, uh-uh, no ma'am. You can have five names on you and cover them up with something else all you want. But for me, I am not putting no woman's name on me. The only people that are gonna be on my body are people of importance, of lifetime. Cause by the end of the day, even though we marry for, for a lifetime, we don't fucking know what's gonna happen. And look what happened, we ended up divorced. <laughs> Speaking of names, um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the tattoo on my right upper arm. I'm actually gonna show you the initial tattoo that was on there. This was actually my first tattoo. Jesus Campos is the name of my cousin. He was like a brother to me. The date's on there, 86 was his birth year, 04 was his death year. That was about 17 to 18 years ago when he passed. And then just recently, his brother passed away, which is why I went back to get a retouch of that tattoo and add his brother to it. Mike Campos is his brother's name. And these years represent his birth year, 84, and his death year, 21. When I say they weren't just my cousins, they were my brothers, I literally mean that shit. Like we grew up together like, we're, like we were siblings. Their mom and my mom are sisters and their dad and my dad are brothers. So we literally are like siblings for real, for real. That's how close they were. So of course I'm gonna have them on me. My first cousin died when he was 18. My second, my second cousin died when he was 37. So since we're on that arm, let's talk about the one underneath it. This tree represents the tree of life and the spiral ring around it, which is colored in blue and pink, is the symbol of infertility. I tried to conceive. I went through six IUI procedures and all attempts failed. I mentally and emotionally could not keep going and trying to have a child. So I did make the decision to stop trying. So that does represent infertility. That decision actually started my four year depression, so. Yeah, let's move on to my forearm. Let's talk about this microphone. Hold on, what you want, boy? Hold on, he dropped his ball. Why would you do that? 
This microphone I actually got for free. I used to be a rap artist for five years in Chicago and I opened up for a lot of people. I performed a lot. I was actually invited to perform for a breast cancer survivor. When I performed on stage, I got a lot of attention, including from a tattoo artist that was in the audience. When I got off stage, he went up to me and told me, your set was awesome. I respect what you do. I'ma hook you up with a free tattoo. Listen, I thought he was just drunk, okay? Cause people are there drinking. I'm like, hey, you know, people say things. The next day they sober up and they forget all about it. Hell no, the next day he's like, what's up, you want that tattoo? I said, hell yeah. So that's how I got this free tattoo. And if you see, the cable runs up to the wrist. Later on, years later, at a tattoo house party, there was a tattoo artist there tattooing everybody and I asked him to put bliss on my forearm because it's simple, it's easy. And bliss, which I still go by sometimes, is my stage name. So that was my rap stage name. Continued on over to YouTube and social media and uh, we kind of made it where the microphone cable went into my wrist and then out the other side of the wrist and goes all the way down to my vein. Right next to it is a rose, which I got in Italy on my honeymoon. So me and my ex-wife, we got married and we spent a week in Italy. We both got tattoos there, so it's pretty awesome. And then down that arm, you'll see a semicolon on my wrist which represents suicide prevention. So I have one there on my wrist and I actually have one behind my ear. Both semicolons uh, remind me of the times in my life where I contemplated suicide and, and actually planned my suicide. Thank God I didn't do it. Period is what ends a sentence. A semicolon continues a sentence. So that's what that symbol represents. Next tattoo. Oh, I forgot this one up here, my bad. So this is actually one of my favorite tattoos because it is Cupid. And if you notice, Cupid is aiming towards my heart. Not only that, but the motherfucker is blindfolded. Yes, yes, yes. We all know, we all know love is blind. And I'm one of those suckers for love. You know, I, I see the red flags, I see the signs, I see the flaws, I see all of that in a person, but I will still choose love over anything because love is blind <laughs> and I will still fucking do it. So let's move over to my left arm. On my upper left arm, I have Jack Skellington. Y'all know Nightmare Before Christmas and all these motherfuckers got Jack or Sally on them because that movie was fucking phenomenal. Not only did I love the animation and the creation behind it, but the storyline was top notch. Jack Skellington was great and popular and famous and was known as a celebrity in the Halloween world, okay? It came to him naturally. He was just gifted and blessed, but he was tired of it. He didn't want to do that. He didn't want to be stuck in just that. So he ventured out to Christmas. So that reminded me of my music career. I have him with a top hat because it kind of reminds me of show business and that's what the music industry was for me. I did it for fun. It was meant to be exciting and a hobby just because I liked hip hop, you know? And naturally I climbed up the ladder so quickly in those five years. I did more than a lot of the local artists did in like 10 years or their whole lives. So, you know, I got a lot of heat from it. A lot of people were kind of envious of that. Just like Jack, listen, it's not something that I want to be stuck in. It was just meant to be for fun. This ain't for me, which is why I left the music business. And that's what that reminds me of. The little creature underneath him is of a bee. I said I would never get a woman's name on me, but this symbol here does represent a woman in my life. Well, she's no longer in my life, but she was, who meant a lot to me. This woman was the only person in my whole entire life, and that's including family and friends and everything, that helped me out of my depression. I'm literally out there seeking help. I'm literally saying how I'm feeling on social media, but not that many people are reaching out to help. Very few, actually. And those who did reach out, it's the same old thing, it's the same old, same old about if you ever need a listening ear, I'm here for you, blah, 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 the same old shit. But nobody actually put those words into action. 
This woman did. I don't know if you remember, but after my divorce, I dated someone for seven months. It never turned into a relationship. We both never wanted a relationship. It was more so we were just there for each other because she also came out of a long-term relationship. So we were just sharing memories together, but these were great memories because she literally helped me. She helped me clean my house. She helped me get out of, pretty much get out of bed and not be so sad in my sorrows. This woman really helped me with my depression and it means so much to me. That girl that I'm speaking of is B. If y'all remember me talking about her, that's B. So this, this B represents her. I no longer talk to her, but I will always cherish her regardless. So let's go down to my forearm. Right here we have the name Imani. Imani is Swahili for faith. And it actually represents the name that I was going to give my child while I was trying to conceive um, that's the name that my ex-wife and I came up with. It is unisex, so, so if we had a boy or girl, it would be perfect. But it didn't work out for me, and I don't regret getting it. I still have faith in life in general, so. And it reminds me of that time in my life that I tried. I have no regrets because I did what I could. Last but not least is right here on my forearm. It is a portrait of my best friend of 19 years. She sadly passed away at the age of, I believe she was 34 or 35. She was more than a best friend to me. She was a sister. She was more of a sister to me than my siblings were. So she means a lot. Um, I don't really have friends. It was really hard for me to accept people as friends. People were just pretty much my acquaintances, you know, people I talked to, people I was cool with, chill with, hang out with. But this girl right here was my true friend. So I lost her. So I had to put her on me, you know what I'm saying? So that's it, guys. I think that's it, yeah. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. um, once I get more tattoos, I'll make sure I put a part two on here, but tattoos are expensive, so that's gonna be till later, 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 later. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe, okay? And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.